Hi, welcome to another Adalo tutorial. Hope you're doing alright and hope you're great. If you've not subscribed to my channel, this is the best time to subscribe so you see all the content that I'll be creating. And so it's very good for the algorithm. It's so good for sport. Other persons who are interested in, Adalo, in learning Adalo also can also come around and learn. Thank you very much once again for checking out my channel. Really appreciate that. Feel free to leave your comment, uh, your comments, your contributions below this video. So today I want to show you how to allow users to follow each other. Um, this works really in any social media application. Like it's very very common. If you're creating a, if you're creating a forum, if you're creating a social media application with a dialogue, anything you're creating that had that you want to include a social feature is just very good for you for members of that community to be able to follow each other all the way. So I'm I'm gonna show you. And this way it's going to work. Say, for example, I'm logged in right now as this person and I want to follow this other person. What I'll do is that I'll click on the, okay, this person, I'm following this person already. So if I un unclick it, it's going to unfollow. Um, it's just going to unfollow that person. And when I click this, it's going to, you know, start following that person. And it's going to happen two ways. In my own path, it's going to add the person to those persons I'm following. Then for the person I am following, is going to increase their number of followers. And you can make it in such a way that uh, if I follow you, I'll be able to see your content. If I don't follow you, I won't be able to see your content. Or probably you could say, I'm going to send messages to everybody I follow, and I'm not going to send messages to people I don't follow. So it's just uh, it just works. You can actually use it to segment content uh, the best way you can. So let me show you the way it works. Uh, we're gonna start with a with a with an with an app, <clears throat> with an already existing app. Yeah, this is just an existing uh, already existing app, fresh out from the oven. So there are a couple of things that you need to you need to do before you before you users can follow each other. First of all, your database. They have to be. The, Adalo can only follow another user from some sort of a list. There have to be a relationship from a list, from a post, from anything that is not that particular user. Pretty, pretty, pretty difficult, right? So see the way it is. If there is no list here, so I'm just gonna put, uh, I'm just gonna put an icon. I'm going to put an icon here. Just, uh, just watch me. So this is the wrong way to do it. I'm gonna put an icon like this. I'm gonna say this to this icon. This is not just an icon, or. Or let's let's put a toggle instead of an icon. So I'm going to add a toggle. I'm going to add a toggle button, like so. So this is a toggle button. It's just it's just the margin. It's the switch that you can switch on and off. So if I say <coughs> this is not going to be a toggle of anything, yeah, it's not going to be a toggle of anything. But before then, to prove this, let's 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 go set up our database first. So you want to do I'm going to add a property. So the way you set up the database for users to follow each other, you need to have a many-to-many -many relationship with yourself. Why? Because a one, one user can follow multiple persons, and multiple persons can follow another user. So this is where the many-to-many -many relationship comes in. I know you've been wondering, what exactly do I use the many-to-many -many relationship for? This is where it comes in. So let's add a property relationship with user, the same database, and this time it's going to be a many-to-many -many relationship. So you click on it, say done. Uh, here, the first thing we want to say, follow us. That's the first thing we want to do, follow us, say safe. Then we'll create another one. Remember, when you log on Instagram, you have followers and you have those persons you're following. So you say add, screw down relationship with users, many-to-many -many relationship, say done, and this time it's going to be following. So it's going to be following. Now we've added a relationship with ourselves, with ourselves. So now let's go back to our toggle button. When we click on the toggle button, it's going to ask us, "What do you want to toggle?" Logged in users, what following and followers and following. But you, but as you can see, we want to be able to toggle two things. We want to be able to toggle the the that the current user and also the logged in user at the same time. Because when you you're adding to both of them. You are increasing the followers of the current user, and you are increasing those the following of the logged in user. 
So doing it like this, we won't be able to, we won't be able to solve it. So what we'll do is that we'll create a list of something. There have to be a list of something. So let's create a list of posts. So from that list, you'll be able to, uh, you know, perform magic. So let's say this is a list. This is just a normal list of users, nothing too much. It's just a normal, it's a list of users, just a list of users, all users, it's fine. All users, it could be all users except logged in users, yeah, that's fine. And then we'll just go ahead and, you know, add everything that is necessary. This is going to be a uh, username and subtitle. Mm, we don't want a subtitle, that's fine. <coughs> right icon, let's just say that's the avatar, current image, that's fine. That's the left. So the right icon, this is the right icon. So this is what we want users to do, to just follow. So if it's a forum, you're just going to add, you know, stuff like that. That's what we want them to do. But instead of an icon, Instead of an icon, we're going to turn this to a toggle. So instead of an icon, we turn this into a toggle button. That's what we turn it into. And what do you want to toggle? We want to add, we want to increase the number. We want to increase the, we can We can do it both ways. We can increase the number of followers, the number of following of the current user. Yeah? We can increase the number of following of the of the logged in user or we can go ahead and say we want to increase the number of for the number of followers the current user yeah the current user not the logged in user the current users number of followers yeah we want to include the logged in user that's what we want to do we want to include the logged in user and we'll screw down here we'll screw down here and do the same thing we would say update the logged in user, the number of follow, the number of the number of following, add current user. That's what we'll do. Then when this to go is turned off, when this to go is turned off by this particular user, the current user, so we're going to say update, yeah, update the current user, the person, the, update the current user. And the person, the, the, the update the current user and remove logged in user from followers. Yeah? So you're updating the current user and removing the logged in user from followers. That's what you're doing. So the, reason, the, the thing is that the current user, it's no longer following, the, sorry, the logged in user is no longer following the current user anymore. But the current user can still follow the logged in user. So it's two ways. If I if I if I stop following you on Twitter, that doesn't mean you stop you 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 stop following me, right? It's, it has to be two ways. So the other user has to come back again and unfollow the other person before it can work both sides. So let's go ahead and try this out. Preview. Preview, we're going to log in like this. This is user1 at gmail, at gmail.com, I think password. I hope it works. So now we have two users, port one and port two. So I'm going to, it's showing all the users, that's what it's showing. So I'm going to say, I'm going to follow this one. Now I'm following that person. Then I'll click, I'm gonna go back now. <clears throat> go back to my database, see my records, and just just follow me. I just followed this guy. Port two just followed Paul. Screw to the side. So you see, following one, the number of followers is one. So that's what you're doing. It's following one, one. So let's go back again and do the same thing. Preview. Remember that, that that Paul is following Paul user two already. So uncheck, just uncheck this person. Go back. Let's go back to our database. Scroll sideways. So you can see now. No followers anymore. No followers anymore. But this other person is still following, but no followers anymore. 
So this is one caveat with Adalo. This is one caveat with Adalo. Uh, Adalo allows <laughs> Adalo allows you to follow yourself. Yeah, Adalo allows you to follow yourself. So, but you can do this by saying when you click on this list, you say not all users. Yeah, you say except via email is equal to logged in users email. So here it won't display. It will not display the email of everybody. It will only display the email of the person that you're not following. So then when you click on this guy, like so, when you click on this guy, like so, you can go back here, go to your database, and you just be so sure, you'll be super sure that you're following the right person. You can see, you're, you'll be so sure that you're following the right person. Just sure. You're sure that you're following the right person, and you don't have to think about it twice. So that's how following works. And one other good thing about following is that you can actually then filter. You can filter by the number of persons you're following. Like you can see, you can filter by the number of followers. So you can filter those persons. You can show content to those persons you're following and show content to those persons who is following you. So hope this works for you. Go ahead and try this. Go ahead and implement this and hope it works. Don't forget, don't, I mean, uh, if it doesn't, it, it, I'm going to be building a social media application pretty soon, uh, like Instagram. So it's going to be a, a very detailed tutorial on how you can implement all this stuff. And you will see how all these things, you know, really, really combine together to make a very amazing social media application. I'll see you in another lesson sooner, uh, probably later. Thank you.